Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 5 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. And by Recon Boats. Made by craftsmen. Built for fishermen. What's up everybody and welcome back to another musky hunt here on the Musky Mastery YouTube channel. It's late November, water temps are in the low 40s here and Steph and I are out trolling on some steep breaks and this fall marks two years, two seasons that I've been running Recon's 895T. So I figured this afternoon I'd point out a couple things that I really like about this boat. I've, uh, I've really put a lot of time in on the water, on the, on the boat here, and uh, there's a lot of features the Recon has, uh, has developed and put into this model that I just absolutely love. So here's the first thing, and if you're in the, if you're in the uh, market for a boat, you may want to check out a tiller. Here's why. Check out the space. First of all, if you look at the back of the boat here, this is the command center. This is a 90-inch beam. This boat is plenty wide. It's not, uh, it's not too big to, to handle for a single angler, but I'll tell you what, it sure is comfortable and it's, and it's uh, got plenty of space to move around. That's one of the reasons I love the tiller is because I've got space to work. You've got a rear casting deck here, and if you're trolling like I am today, you've got room, even with a camera here uh, on the gun rail, I've got a lot of space here to do my things. So that's one of the benefits of a tiller is space. You're not taking up space with a big steering wheel and, and windshields and all that. So, you know, again, what I use in, in place of a windshield is a snowmobile helmet in the fall or just uh, ski goggles. But that's the way I roll. I love the tiller life. Speaking of the benefits of a tiller here, check out the, uh, check out the, the maneuverability here. Trolling real, real, real close to a, uh, a shoreline here. Check this out. Look at the, the ease with which I can make just hairpin turns here with, with very little effort at all. I don't need to be moving my hands on the steering wheel. I can hold on to my rod. I can detect strikes. I can feel the bottom if, I, if I'm uh, clicking and ticking like I am now. I'm just running my joint of depth rater over some rocks. But this is one of the things that I just love about the tillers. Look at this. I, it's, it's the ease with which you can maneuver in tight spaces. Steph's going to be able to see the shoreline here in just a second. You're going to see what I'm talking about with regard to tight spaces. I mean, this is just absolutely crazy what you can do as far as controlling your boat here with a tiller setup. Yeah, you control with a console. You control with a steering wheel, but can you do this? Can you do this with a moment's notice here? Pick up a little speed on the turn here. Yeah, it, it just it's it's just easier to do with the tiller setup. So that's one thing that I that I really love about the 895T is just the just the maneuverability, just the ease with which I can troll on steep brakes. Stuff pan out to this uh, shoreline for the folks here. Guys, take a look at this. I mean, when you're when you're trolling this close to a brake line, you do need to be able to take turns quickly. Now, the next thing. By the way, everybody, Steph's really uh, <laughs> Steph's really doing an amazing thing here today. It, it, it may not look it, but it's like 25 degrees. Thank goodness we don't have any wind here. Okay, second thing I love about the 895T is the starboard side electronics. So Steph will get an angle here of this in just a second, but I've tested this out and I really like it. I know a lot of folks in the past have said, oh, you know, I'm not quite sure. We're, we're so used to the port side electronics and that's, and that's totally understandable. Port side electronics have been, you know, that's what we've been used to for, for so many years. Well, this is, this is a little different, but I really like it. So the reason I like this is because as we're driving here, you can see I'm, I'm looking forward as, as we're going this direction, as I'm trolling here and what's right in front of me, my electronics. I can easily just adjust my electronics, zoom in, zoom out. I've got my I've got my engine here, the throttle control, anything I need right at my fingertips. So my left hand is on the is on the uh, the Merc. I can take my hand off the rod briefly, adjust my electronics and keep doing my thing here. It keeps my eyes forward 
in the direction I'm driving, especially at high speeds, and it allows me to just glance at this, this uh, Humminbird setup here anytime I need to, to make quick adjustments. Here I've got a little bit of a, uh, an underwater point coming up, so you see what now? Watch how easily I'm able to just make an adjustment here with the tiller and get right out in front of this brake, just like that. So that's really cool. Another thing that I love about this boat, and I'm gonna reel in my my uh, my trolling setup here, my, my jointed depth rider, because I really, really wanna show you this, is the live well. Yes, we're still running live bait at this time of the year. We've got a complete, complete live well full of suckers. I wanna show you a couple of the really cool features the 895T has. If you're into sucker fishing, check this out. All of my electronics, all my buttons for uh, live well, bait well, my vents, my bilge, my lights, horn, you name it, it's all here. But again, we're talking about live well, we're talking about suckers, so check this out. One of the coolest features here on the live well system, of course you've got your pumps, but you've got these timed delays. What this is really cool is that you can, you can set this as low as five minutes, um, and you can set this as, as long as a 30 minute delay, all the way to 30 minutes before you want this thing to either do two things, okay? You can pump water in, you can pump fresh water in, or you can just set it to recirculate. So that way, when you're fishing, all you've got to do is set that pump timer, and you don't have to worry about adding water into your live well. It does it automatically for you. It's a brainless operation, which is super cool when you're tired, when you're putting in a 10 hour day here, you can just let your uh, let your timer do the work for you and it'll keep your bait fresh all day long. So take a look here. This is the front bait well. As you can see here, I'm just pumping fresh water in. There is a um, an outlet drain that just that just allows it to kind of drain out as you pump fresh water in here. And this is where I keep my suckers. It's one of the things that I love most about the 895 Tiller is just ease of transportation for the live bait. It keeps them fresh all day long. Another feature that I really like here on the 895T, again, we're talking space in the tiller, is this massive casting deck on the bow. I mean, take a look at this thing. You can fish, I mean, easily two anglers, sometimes they even have three people on the front casting deck. I mean, this 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 dance floor up here is absolutely massive. John Johnson and his team have developed a couple things here that I just want to show you with regard to the front deck that I think is really, really cool. It makes this casting deck uh, absolutely giant. First of all, it's this deck extension right here. You can see that I've got my a lot of my musculars just in PVC piping here, um, easily accessible. And then again, what this insert does is it just it just makes this whole casting deck giant. I've got another one in over on this side, but uh, again, the whole idea here is maximizing your your front deck space. It's huge. It's one of the things I love about the tiller is we're not taking up this space with a steering wheel. We don't have windshields up here, so that's really cool. A couple other things about the tiller life that are just awesome. Again, if you're in the market for a boat, you may want to consider a tiller. So many reasons, again. Take a look at the front deck here. It's huge. One of the, one of the things that I love, again, about this particular model, the 895T, is the storage. Check this out. I mean, I have got trays and trays and trays of tackle in here. Of course, I've got my onboard charging system in here. That's super convenient. Just tons of storage. That is the starboard side storage compartment there. But of course, I've got more storage up here. Take a look at that. We've got all kinds of winter gear in here. Hats, gloves, rain gear, ski goggles. So this is super, super awesome right there. A couple more things here. Two year review, what I like about the boat. First of all, more storage. We're on the port side here. You can see how much space I've got in here. I've got everything from, from buoys in here to <laughs> tons of extra reels. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff, everything from ibuprofen, which you're gonna need after a long day on the water, to you name it, we got all kinds of stuff in here. These are connecting storage compartments. I got more buoys, I got life jackets. In the rear uh, live well, this is a huge live well. It's 46 inches, corner to corner. I use this as my camera and battery setup. All the all the cameras we're running here to to make this YouTube cha YouTube channel happen. 
it all comes right here. Um, it's, it's again, you can you can use this as a live well, but I love using it as a storage compartment. I've got it all plugged up and uh, it's, it's very dry. Last thing I'll show you guys, and this is it. This is actually at the end of my two year review on the Recon 895T because my dear, dear fiance who's behind the camera has told me, yes, Chaz, it's 24 degrees. We have to go, we have to go in. We've put some great time in on the water here. But last thing here I'll show you, I've shown this to you before, but in the command center, we've got this glove compartment here, which is just awesome. You can put everything from, <laughs> you can put everything from more Aleve Band-Aids. I've got my, my nighttime driving glasses here, extra contacts, you put your wallet, whatever you want in there, that locks up. You've got your cup holders. So there you have it, guys. The Tiller Lifestyle, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Recon has just done a phenomenal job just on creating a real working, absolutely just hardcore fishing boat that's comfortable. It's got a lot of features that I absolutely love. Now, I haven't walked you through everything, but I've shown you a lot of what I love about this boat from the starboard uh, mounted electronics to the big casting deck to the massive storage. It makes trolling just an absolute breeze here with the, the tiller setup. So that's it. Well, folks, more to come. If you've got more questions, if you want to see uh, more features of this 895 tiller, leave those questions in the comments section below, and I will be sure to film another video for you showing you the things you want to see. But I really hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, again, we're going to get back at it. I might be able to squeak one more spot out with Steph. She's giving me that look. I don't know if we're going to be able to or not. We'll see. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for watching. Steph, can we have one more spot? No. <laughs> <laughs>